please tell me I am not the only one who remembers that song. It is If You're Not The One by Daniel Bedingfield. It is one of my favorite throwbacks to this day and still never fails to get me all the way in my feels. It's like That and For You by Kenny Lattimore. <gasps> Anyway, hello, my name is Brie, it's good to see ya. And in the spirit of throwbacks, just last week, my cousin sent me a throwback picture of me on my way to junior prom. Now, this was a time when I was very naive. I had never gone to a school dance before, so I thought that people went to proms to feel like princes and princesses to dance at the ball. But it turns out people just wanted to gyrate. So, not knowing this, my dress was very big, it was very loud, it was very magenta pink, okay? I thought I was doing something, okay. So, in the spirit of that, I have so many more embarrassing, hilarious, heinous photos to share with you all. Now, I am not a stranger to these photos. However, every time I see one, it's like I'm seeing it for the first time. You better believe that. Oh my God. <laughs> I have my laptop here, and you will be watching these alongside me as I display these photos up on the screen. Oh, I love life so much. I can't believe I'm doing this. Oh my god. What do we have first? <laughs> Let's see if I can recreate this face right now. Okay. What is this? Is that it? I'm trying to do the cute pout? Note the border. You better believe. If it has a border around it, it was a MySpace profile picture. I thought I was really doing it here. I was like, wow, my crush is going to madly fall in love with me when he sees this. Actually, that's a lie. That is what I said to this photo right here. <laughs> I swear to God. I thought this one was going to bring all of the boys to me. I thought I was going to be wed the next day after dropping this on the MySpace. I thought Tom himself, creator of MySpace, may he rest wherever he is. He's not dead. I didn't mean to say may he rest. Let's forget about that. Hi, Tom of Face. This is too convoluted. Tom of MySpace himself was going to bow down at my feet when I uploaded this photo. That's, that's what I thought. I don't know if you can see it, but if you look real close, I'm rocking the classic blue eyeshadow. It looks kind of pale here, but it's 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 blue. It's very blue. My mom's overthrow sweatshirt, which is, which is oh my god. You know, it's really funny. The actual crush I had, <laughs> the crush I was trying to impress with this photo, was like picking on me the next day and was like, "Why are you doing that? Like, you look high." Mm hmm. L is for the way you look at me. O is for the only one I see. The O is the border around this photo. Let's see what we got up next, fam. What is next? Ooh, oh, she is giving sad girl energy. You see my little bangs here? They're extensions. I literally would like have a track, <laughs> like a two inch track and put it underneath the headband with one of those, <laughs> one of those metal clips. Mm -hmm. I thought that was it. That was the look. This was also the era of me wearing arm sleeves, which you'll see very soon. But I, I was a sucker for my little track bang. I loved my track bangs. <laughs> oh my god. Y'all couldn't tell me <laughs> Oh no. Y'all couldn't tell me nothing about my little track bangs. You could not tell me a thing <laughs> about that track. I also had like a ponytail in. None of this is my hair except for the slick part that you see. That headband, it's actually like netted. It's like a netted material, so there's holes in it. And y'all know that a track was peeking through. <laughs> you saw that little metal clip shining. <laughs> oh God. Fun fact, this is what it's like growing up as a black girl who's pressured to feel like her curly natural hair is awful, that she needs to conform to white beauty standards. Sad girl Brie, what is next? Let's do, let's do one of the videos next. Cause y'all know I sang. I have always sang. I also songwrite. And this was at the very beginning of my songwriting-ish. Okay. <laughs> oh my God, which one should I do? I'll do this one. If y'all don't get this out of tune guitar out my face. Oh my God, fast forward. I say this. I was beyond certain that this song was going to land me on the Disney Channel the next week. 
I can promise you I had my entire adolescent career mapped out. tell I'm heavily influenced by Hannah Montana like this was my love hate phase of Hannah Montana I was like how dare she take my dream how dare Miley be the star that I am yeah I had it out for Miley I had it out for her oh my god this was the era of like Hannah Montana just becoming a thing but I will have you know I absolutely adore Miley I think she is so cool I love watching interviews of like my favorite people or people I find interesting and I just her mind is so cool all right what's next here oh here's me with the guitar coming for Hannah Montana's throat Oh wow, this is before I like drew. I drew like a sharpie design all over the guitar that you see here. That guitar I think I still have. I can't bring myself to get rid of it. It's my very first guitar. Go, oh, you go girl. Matter of fact, let me let me pull up a video. Ooh, here's one featuring the arm sleeves. It's just a guitar, no singing. It was a song I was in the midst of writing that I eventually did write. <laughs> I think I remember some of it. The track bangs, fam. The track bangs. Alright, alright. Oh, 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 oh. I need to tune that guitar, man. I'm seeing things clearer now. And I hope and understand. No need to ask why or how. Just know that I'm back again. That was the chorus of that song. I liked that song. That was one of the early ones that I actually enjoyed. I might revive that in the future. Hmm. What's next? Ooh. Here's one with my real bangs. This is my real hair here. As funny as it is looking at these, it's also very sad because I just, just remember how sad I was. I was just so heartbroken all the time. I just didn't know how to cope. Um, so yeah, the, the track bang era was, it was a rough one, it was a, it was a hard one. Being displaced from my former home to an all-white, like, suburban area, it was, it was very rough, to say the least. If you're a white person here, like, we all have our struggles, we all have our heartaches and heartbreaks. You are very blessed that your skin color is not one of them. Because it's like going through the regular hardships of life on top of having the added layer of being the only black girl in your class. Knowing that you're being treated differently and knowing the reason why subconsciously but not being strong enough or like emotionally capable enough to handle the fact that your skin color is what's the issue here as a child. Just the gravity of processing that as a child, it's too much. I'm not even doing the experience justice. I mean, how can you, unless you're also a black woman? And I see all of you black women. So yeah, track bangs are funny, only to a point. Even when I was sifting through these to gather which photos I wanted to do for this video, it was just, it was just heartbreaking. It was also very humbling and sobering because I'm just I'm so grateful for the experiences that I have had that have led me to being who I am right now. I'm, oh my God, I'm so grateful. I would not trade the hardship for anything, ever. Okay. Let's lighten the mood. <laughs> I don't know why the clown song has become my go-to, but okay. We out here. We out here, fam. What's next? Yo, baby Brie. <laughs> Little girl. This was also just coming out of the phase of not being ashamed of my dimples. I used to always have this smile where I would just I try to smile without them showing. I don't even know if I can do it anymore because I just, I love my dimples. <laughs> but I was just just coming out of that in this photo. My short hair, oh my god. At the time, this was long for me. I was like, oh my god, like, she got inches. She got mad inches. Girl, just you wait. Just you wait a few years. Ooh, this is Beanie Bree. I loved this hat. I wish I still had it. I think beanies are awesome. This one is like, cute cringe. Like, I cringe, but I'm still like, oh, okay. She, she was doing a little something. She was doing, she was styling. <laughs> I just threw this one in there because I actually kind of like it. This was like definitely high school, digital camera era. <laughs> the side bangs were strong, fam. These were also extensions. My hair is out at the top and the top only. Wow, those days are so far behind me. I'm so grateful for that. <laughs> What's this one? 
<laughs> oh, okay. I'm pretty sure I was on like a winter vacation with my family while this was being recorded. Oh no, this is not my problem. Oh boy, it looks like you got some thinking to do. Yeah, yeah, just keep on walking. I'm so glad I had the time to think this through. Cause I know better than to play these games or play. Heavy Hannah Montana influence here. Do you hear the twang in my voice? Like I would always manipulate my voice to do a Miley. Always. So crazy. <laughs> I have so many old photos on my external hard drive and I tell you every time I look through these it's the most surreal experience. And specifically when I was trying to find photos to use for this video it's wild seeing just the evolution of who I am. Just seeing the different states of mind I was in. The different ways I expressed myself through what I wore the ways I didn't express myself through what I wore. Although a lot of the earlier photos that I was looking at were just very heartbreaking, especially just I still feel so close to that little girl in those photos. She's still in me. I can say I feel so grateful and so proud seeing me come into my own as the years go on in these photos, all the way up to the point of the woman that I am today, and I'm so stinking proud of who I am today. That's all little me wanted, just to be proud of myself and to love who I am to respect who I am and to demand respect of other people and yeah. If I'm blessed to live a few more years, a few decades more, I'm excited to see the continuation of my evolution. Hee hee hee. No, y'all know we can't wrap up a video without Mr. Miko. We got some throwbacks of him too. You ready? Hold on to your butts. Hold on to your butts. These might be a little too cute. Make sure you're sitting down. Make sure you're not near any glass windows or glass dishes because you might scream. I don't want to be responsible for any damages. Which one do I want to do first? <laughs> Look at this baby boy. Wow, my baby. Let me just go in order. Look at his eyes, you guys. Oh, baby. Wow. I might start crying. They grow up so fast my pink fuzzy blanket at the time. Ugh, he was just always so cute. He was so feisty. He was such a feisty little kitten. Oh my god, he had so much energy. His eyes are so big. Oh wow. Given that many cats have the same IQ as a toddler, a human toddler, it is not far-fetched that having a cat is like having a child. A lot less expensive, a lot less work, but a lot of the same work. I think it's so important to just nurture kittens and nurture cats. Just nurturing any animal in your life because their brains really do respond like children. You know how a newborn baby like studies your mouth to learn English? Miko does that to me all the time and he's just studying. He just can't say anything, but he's so smart. He's so smart. I'm looking at these photos, oh my God, I'm gonna cry. He's just, oh my God, he's such a blessing to me. Such an angel. I wish I had more like ridiculous, 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 embarrassing. Oh, wait, 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 one last one that I totally forgot to do. Where are you? It is yet another MySpace profile picture. I really like, I just don't have any words for this one. I really don't. I'm trying to, looks like I'm kind of pooping. Like it looks like I have to poop, okay. Is that it? The most worrisome part about pictures in life and how we see ourselves is there was a time where I legitimately thought this looked good. I know everyone has these embarrassing photos that we loved to just display on social media for everyone thinking that we were the it girls or it dudes. But the worrisome thing is like the pictures that we're taking in this day and age, do we think we look good and we really don't? Is it just an ongoing cycle? Will we look back at the photos that we have taken today, five, ten years from now, and be like, what was I thinking? It just, it, you question everything. Kind of takes off the pressure. Don't put too much thought into what you're wearing. Like, it's probably gonna look ugly anyway in five years. <laughs> I don't know. If y'all have any embarrassing photos, like, y'all know where to find me on Instagram. If we can share a laugh, like, share some with me. I would love that. That would be very fun. Or if you wanna do a throwback of your pet, of your little angel fur baby, I am down for that too. I love pictures. I love things that make me laugh, that make me smile. So hit me up in the DMs. I already can't wait, okay?
I hope this trip down memory lane was as fun for you as it was for me. Slightly traumatizing for me. But it's all good. It's all good, man. Well, then on that note, over and out. Tell them over and out, Brie.